Now you can listen to your favorite episodes of books.com on Ghana, Jio Seven, and Castbox too. So what are you waiting for? Tune in and enjoy. All of us do not have equal talent, but all of us have an equal opportunity to develop our talents. Dr. A P J Abdul Kalam. Hello everyone. Welcome back to yet another inspiring episode of books.com with me Subhashni. Wondering why I began with this quote? I have been summing up the 5 AM club for the past 2 weeks and found this quote more appropriate for this book. Those who haven't heard the previous episodes, please check them out and continue for better understanding. Before I wind up this book, a short recap. So far, we have seen the habit arc, the habit installation protocol, how to automate the habit, the three pockets of 20 2020 and the four focuses of elite people. A river cuts the mountain with its persistence and not merely with its strength. Similarly, successful people succeed with their consistency and persistence. not necessarily with their talent ever wondered why majority of people end up in smaller positions in their lives it's because often they multitask or get distracted by various smaller projects whereas the successful people dedicate their time to a single important task and become elite while people wish extraordinary things will happen to them the truly elite discover that they can make extraordinary things happen on their own let's continue to know more about the geniuses when we talk about getting up at 5 am it's impossible unless we sleep on time how we spend the last hour of a day is as important as the first if we need to peak our performance like the early morning ritual the billionaire mentions a pre-sleep ritual and this ritual should occur between 7 pm to 8 pm make sure that by this time you had your last meal of the day and also you should have turned off all your devices and keep them away from the bed too many people are sleep deprived nowadays mostly due to technology the blue light from the devices reduces melatonin levels and this is the chemical that induces sleep being in front of a tv screen or a mobile screen will prevent you from falling asleep and also having a deep sleep try to isolate yourself from overstimulation to ensure you sleep on time and have a high quality sleep spend the rest of the evening talking with your loved ones from 8 to 9 pm you can have family time meditate if you like spend some time reading or listen to audiobooks or podcasts or have a relaxing bath the idea is to just relax and calm your mind before sleeping and your sleep time should be no later than 10 pm some of us don't like embracing the rest portion of the cycle the entrepreneur admits this and remarks she feels guilty if she isn't working but belena says establishing a balance is equally essential don't just work embrace rest relaxation and fun equally moreover research shows that sleep is one of the key factors in predicting one's life expectancy now that we know the morning ritual and pre sleep ritual how to thrive in the long run for this we need to take care of ourselves holistically we often hear people talk about positive mindset or optimistic thoughts but sharma says the mindset that they are talking about is merely one of the interior empires and explains the four most important empires to be a genius the first mindset this relates to the psychological aspect of our being for example our thinking and optimism our deepest beliefs drive our daily behavior we need to try and optimize our self talk and our outlook while thinking optimistic thoughts will help us 
There are three other interior empires when trying to find balance and this mindset contributes only 25%. Second, heart set. This relates to our emotional intelligence. It signifies our emotional life and well-being. Even with a world-class mindset, we cannot intellectually deliver if our emotional life is a mess. We can't produce mastery with toxic feelings weighing us down. To cultivate a healthy emotional life, we need to express ourselves and have healthy emotional attachments. This is vital for our success. Sigmund Freud has remarked, unexpressed emotions will never die. They are buried alive and they will come forth later in uglier ways. How good we are at managing our emotions brings the difference to our performance. Hence, seek to amplify positive emotions and practice gratitude. Third, health set. As the name suggests, it relates to our physical fitness. This ensures our brains to operate at their highest level of cognition. The billionaire jokingly points out, you can't be a titan of an industry if you are dead. If you want to be in charge of your empire, you need to live long enough to do this. So, committing to optimal fitness would provide us with a couple of healthy and productive decades to build a greater legacy. It will help us have energy, lose some stress and be happier. The fourth, Soul Set. It relates to spirituality. Everyday life draws us towards superficial and materialistic life. Take some time in the quiet moments of early morning to remember who you really are. Reconnect with the best part of yourself and meditate how to connect to that supreme power. Not only these four empires, Sharma lists out 10 tactics to sustain success. Let's look into a few important ones. The tight bubble of total focus. According to Sharma, people who excel in their field strictly stay away from distraction. They work in the tight bubble of total focus. In this bubble, nobody can interrupt them. If you want to execute this, schedule a routine away from interruptions and distractions. This routine will allow you to focus on your work entirely. The second is the 90-91 rule. For the next 90 days, use the first 90 minutes of your work to identify one thing that could revolutionize your work. By doing this, you have ensured your day's first 90 minutes is wholly focused on the single most important activity of your career which will fetch you excellent results. The 60-10 method After every hour of work, take a 10-minute break. Go for a quick walk, drink some water, do some stretches and then get back to work. By doing this, you ensure you are not overstressed. This makes you feel that you are not sitting in one place for a long time and you refuel yourself frequently. The weekly design system you should sit down and plan your entire week every weekend, preferably on Sundays. How does your week look like? What are the things you want to accomplish this week? What do you want to do each day? By having this weekly plan, you can ensure you are sticking to your goals. Then, you can develop this plan further by breaking those goals into 5 daily goals. The 60 minute student Finally. Those who are considered geniuses by society study for a minimum of 60 minutes each day. It could be a book about the field you are interested in or the latest update in that field. It could even be talking with your mentor. The idea here is to learn. The moment you stop learning is the moment you stop growing. To know what happened to the entrepreneur and artist at the end and the rest of the tactics, why don't you read this book? The 5am club is no different from other Robin Sharma books and more or less follows the same plot line. Most of the core messages are found in the latter half of the book and makes you wait and at times the messages seem forced. If you are a maxim and code collector, this book provides you with umpteen of them. The multi-layered plot gives it an interesting touch but there are certain points that Sharma repeats in his books 
which is a bit annoying. The book is engaging when it talks about the core scientific concepts and methods on a whole new level. The school of thought is a new considering the main idea is to get up earlier than what you are used to. It doesn't necessarily be 5 a.m. but use that extra hour to work mainly on your mindset, health, emotions and spirituality. I really appreciated the deconstruction of the day. The explanation makes the implementation easier and doable though I have my own apprehensions as to how far these methods will help a jobless person who is struggling hard to make his ends meet. Well, different people have different timetables and their needs too will differ. However, you can take this as a basic guideline and reframe the structure according to your needs. By keeping what works for you, you can tremendously improve your current lifestyle. Overall, The 5AM Club is scientifically a well-crafted book. Hope you like the summary and my review. Follow books.com for more positive and captivating book reviews. Please do share your thoughts and comments about this book with me on our YouTube channel or write to me at books.com by subhashini at gmail.com. You can follow our Instagram for more updates. Thank you for staying tuned till the end. See you in the next episode of books.com. Till then, sayonara.